Welcome. All right, so what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify this uh, radical um, expression. Um, and we're going to use rationalize the denominator. Now, it's very important for us to understand that when we have a radical divided by another radical, the first thing I'd say to look for is to try to simplify our numerator and, divider by, our numerator and denominator by dividing them, by using our properties of radicals. But the problem when we do that is we'd have the square root of 2 sevenths, which is not a, uh, a perfect square number. So that's not really going to help us out. So to simplify this by rationalizing the denominator, we're going to want to get our denominator out of, or get our denominator to not have a radical in it, not have the square root of 7. So think about this. Remember, when we're looking into you know, taking the square root of a number, we know that the square root of 4 is just 2. And why is it? Well, because we can rewrite the square root of 4 as 2 times 2. So basically what we want to be able to do to undo the square root, we want to be able to take the square root of the multiplication of a number that's by itself. And the other important thing to re remember is the properties of exponent or properties of radical state that when I have the square root of a number times the square root of a number number, that equals the square root of the product of those numbers, which would just be a. So the number that I'm going to want to multiply by the square root of 7 to get it just to be 7 would be the square root of 7. And whatever I do in my denominator, I have to do in my numerator to produce an equivalent fraction. Now I can multiply these, so that's going to produce, I right, put it down, that's going to produce uh, the square root of 14 divided by 7. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you rationalize the denominator to simplify your expression. Thanks.